Skyrim on the PC is a video game featuring a lot of criticism and pinpoints we need to curve about. about. Because it's a long, thick and review for a very long, durable game. Nice complete artistic moments may boil us down to some, but you got to have a lot of patience in order to like this game. And put it on your stable tops. Communicate with your own visions and nice consciousness. A particular craft that it does it incredibly right. Nice intersecting paths to journey along, beautiful treacherous graphics, and nice inherent visuals. A good time to speak immediately to your followers or strange random people in the world of Skyrim. Fester a lot and roam till you stop the streaking souls from discovery. Get into frenzy fights with wolves or calm injury villains, or even exertive dragons. Choose to be evil or light to take your communication even more farther. Empower people, produce something in your inventory, and create something badass. No matter how high the transaction is, maybe stand still and browse along the opening fields and snow patches, look at the domestic animals or high footers jump in midair. It combines power and fast paced parties to make it fun and enjoyable. Nice monastic wine and other goodies to buy or sell upon. Take your highest crime to the next level no matter if it's lowest life expectancy. Take the attractive routes and find hidden entrances and side missions to make you oblige and put a smile on your cornered sittering face. Nice Boomtown music soundtrack breaks for garnishing takes and takes the wonky hip hop to an instrumental side of choice. Epic seasonal weather conditions, great chart success, explore hidden valleys and volcano peaks for extreme views of committed landmarks. Always be generous and get rewarded with high among stocks of people to give you valuable items and spells. Speaking of spells, there's a lot to explain about. One spell can tarnish reputation and tally intense creativity. Another spell can partly up a spirit and call up dragons, which is called the Dragonborn move. Which later on in the game, they'll explain more about this heisty move. Another can make a hidden pulse of wave and magic, partly rescued with ice, fire, poison, or whatever element you desire to choose from. There's a lot of salty weapons to choose from as well. Nice immersion reps with multiple recording ranges of both switches and singular power arms. Most sought to equip them all. Behind the decks there's realistic enemies and also creativity and fantasy ones as well that are so weird and strange and exotic. Nice trusty record bags for a unique club culture. It's like jetting along and never gets boring when you're addicted to one part system. Nice shaping buildings and monuments to look at. Some driven over the line creative details and circuit temples. Very special sense of humor on side missions. Some nonsense in other people's dialogue and for core party. Rock like no one else was on the Skyrim fighting dance floor. Have local pride when you're slaying fourth notching baddies. It always keeps me grounded. Epic dilapidated memories you get to shine and course about. I love the Vilreville points are made for the character's missions. Others just feel bland and tired some if you do everything 100%. It's like you rise to complete it all, and it takes over 500 hours to do everything because there's so much jobs to boast about. Sometimes you can go to an objective point of view, other times you can take crumbling plasters of items, or you can tell someone that they are arrested by the brick building guards of Skyrim. It's really clever. I'm glad that some don't bore you a lot in this call center game. Some places are low lit and are not pretty to look at. Sometimes the golden era of gaming can lack some mournfully waff timely effects in this glorious game. When you sip cola, you really feel like a milestone warrior in this game. So I'm going to give you my timeless score, a sinless score, a fallation score. And are you ready? I give this game a minded targeting score a 9.8 slash 10. I would give it a 10 slash 10, but the tempos only really made me sidetrack into creativity. I've been snow and other landscapes before, and I've heard all that. But the gameplay, what really makes the fogged up window game a treat to play. And the story is, well, really waiting to read a real long written book. Other than that, it's a great game. One of the best RPGs ever made, and some epic proportions, but it builds the right. The controls are still stiff and fresh, and from this day, there's no clunky board to bring upon what we call Skyrim, one of the greatest classic games ever made. Love the Burrito Master.